The Vitamins, Part 2. Let's start with supplements. Can I just take supplements and not eat real food? Not according to the American guidelines of 2015. According to these guidelines, nutritional needs should be met primarily with foods. Of course, there's some exceptions. In some cases, you need supplements, uh, particularly with people that have deficiencies, the rare in the U.S., pregnant women, older adults, young children, people with allergies. Sometimes supplements are needed. Arguments against supplements are because in high levels they can be toxic, and there's a lot of life-threatening misinformation out there, unknown needs, and people get this false sense of security. The risk from taking too many supplements and getting too much of the required vitamin, and this, as we learned earlier, usually happens from supplements versus food. In addition, food, unlike Supplements also offer fiber, minerals, and other healthful ingredients that don't come in supplements, and they certainly taste better on the way down. But if you can, the best way to get your vitamins is intake from food and eating a wide variety of fruits and vegetables. The reality is most Americans don't get their five servings of fruit and vegetables each day. Later on in the class, you'll get to look at your own diet to see how you meet the recommended daily allowances for vitamins. My last point about vitamins is kind of silly, but I always wondered, why aren't they in order, A through F? Well, originally they were in, in sequence A through F, but um, mistakes were made and some of the vitamins had to be eliminated, so it's a little bit out of order. Now, let's test your knowledge. You have to have had listened to part one of this series to answer these questions. So make sure you go back and listen if you haven't already. First question, true or false? Vitamins provide energy. False, vitamins do not provide energy. While vitamins are needed to convert energy to food, they don't provide energy themselves. Next question. True or false, the only documented benefits of vitamins is protection against deficiencies. False. Though this is an active area of research, for many vitamins, intake levels above those known to just prevent against deficiency will also prevent against some cancers and perhaps heart disease. Though don't go taking vitamins left and right. Not only is research young, but many vitam vitamins in excess causes more risk than benefit. Which leads to the next question, true or false? Nearly all cases of illness due to excessive intake are a result from the overuse of vitamin supplements. And that statement is true. It's important to take note of the recommended daily allowance or the RDA present for all vitamins for both men and women. Last question, true or false? Citrus fruit is the only form of vitamin C. False. Citrus fruit is an excellent source of vitamin C, but there are also several fruits and vegetables that contain good amounts of vitamin C as well. So how'd you do? Well, that's it today for vitamins. Thanks for listening.